Okay, uh, this is our second video. I'm going to walk you through each of the parts uh, that you'll be required to do for the lab. Uh, in general, it's a good idea to make sure you understand which species you're looking at. In some cases, it's better to do them all at once. And in other cases, it's better to do them one at a time. When we do frequency, remember, frequency is simply whether something is there or not in each quadrant. Um, I find it easier, actually, to just look at them all uh, and do each quadrant at a time. So again, I have my five species up, and we can kind of uh, get ourselves to remember. In general, the deeper blue is the sagebrush. The uh, kind of greenish blue and rounder leaves are the Texas sage. The sotal is kind of this radius. Uh, the bunch grass is a light green, relatively small, and then we have our desert willow. Those are the ones we're interested in. Now what I've done is I've set up my frequency table so that it has the quadrants across the top, my species here. Now count is not relevant to this one, and I, you'll see that I have those in some other ones. So again, all we have to do, we're going to open up our, um, our look at the study area, and what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to um, go to my previous view here. This is essentially all of the study area. Uh, I'm going to actually go out a little bit farther so that we can kind of see it all. Now at this level it's pretty tough to get uh, the, the data so we need, we're going to need to zoom in. The other thing I want to make sure is that your measuring tool should be here. If it's not there by the way, click on your tools and make sure that the measure tool is open. Now let's go back to our sample You'll see our measuring tool here. The next thing I want to do just at the beginning, it's a good idea. I'm going to click anywhere in here using my measuring tool. And if I right click, I'm going to get my distance units into meters. Make sure it's in meters. All right, now back to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do my frequency. Now on my spreadsheet, I notice that I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do two of these real quick. We have col we have row column. So row 9, cell 5, column 5. And we're going to do 1, 7. So 9, 5, 1, 7. So I'm going to open this up. And we're going to go again, row 9. So that's the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then a 5 over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the cell that I'm interested in. Well, it's pretty tough to see what's in there. So again, I can now right click and use what's called the marquee zoom. And then I can zoom right in on my quadrant. And if I look at this, it's pretty easy to see that I've got buffalo grass here. I've got both kinds of sages. Okay. And that's about it. Both kinds of sages and my buffalo grass. So now I'm going to go back to my thing and I'm going to say, okay, in 9.5, I have buffalo grass. So I'm going to put a one in and I have both types of sages but I don't have anything else. So I'm going to put a zero in for those. Zero and zero. Now I want to go back to row one, column seven. So again, I'm going to right click and you'll notice it says go to previous view. Well, that's everything. So we've got row one and then number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm right here. Remember that I can use my marquee tool. So I'm going to zoom in on it. And here we go. Now in this case, I have my buffalo grass, I do have my willow, I have both types of sages present, but what do I do with this one that's out here? Okay, I've got one, but I don't have, I'm not sure that I have the other one, and I have a sotal here, but most of it's outside. In both these cases, I would say that both of these actually exist primarily outside. And so remember, we, have to, we said the majority in. So in this case, we really only have our sage brush our buffalo grass, and our willow. So again, I'm going to go back here. We have our buffalo grass, our sagebrush, and our willow. But now we have zero and zero here. Now what you would do for frequency then is complete this, and then you're going to sum the number of cells that it's in. Our sum, remember, is simply equal sign sum and I'm going to open up this, the cell, grab the first one, slide all the way over, and let go. And you'll notice that it sums to 2. Okay, that's it for frequency. Now, if we look at density, density is a little bit different. Remember, the density is about the count of them. So now we actually do have to put the count in. We're going to look at our same cells. 
So again, this is the quadrant density count. So I'm going to go back, and since I'm at 1, 7 here, I'm going to say, well, OK, how many buffalo grass do I have? And in this case, it's really much more effective to do kind of one at a time, enter the data, then go back to the cell. So I've got one buffalo grass here, two, three. OK, that's what I see. And so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to say my buffalo grass, and I'm in 1, 7, I'm going to put in three. Now, I know that I also have the sagebrush, desert willow, and so I'm going to go back to it. And I'm going to say, well, in terms of the desert willow, I have one present. Desert willow, I'm going to put in one. And then we're going to go back. And I'm going to say sagebrush, I've got one here, and I see one here. Again, this is always up to your interpretation. What do you see? What don't you see? So I see one here and one here in terms of sagebrush. I go back to my spreadsheet. And in terms of my sagebrush, I'm going to put in two. And then here I'm going to put in zero and zero. So that is my density. Now let's go back and do our 9.5. We'll do one more. And again, I'm going to right click, previous view. And remember that this is row nine. You'll get used to this. And then five, one, two, three, five. Here's our five. Now when I look at this, I see one two in terms of my buffalo grass. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. Two in terms of my buffalo grass. My sagebrush, when I look at this, I see a sagebrush here and here and here and here. So I see three of the sagebrushes here. Okay. You might say that this is a fourth. That's a good question, is whether or not you would see one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six. You have to make that decision. But I'm going to count this as six of the sage brushes. Okay. Now, if we go back, what we should see, if I go back to my frequency, is that I also had somewhere here Texas sage. Now I'm going to go back to this. And if you remember, there was a distinction between these two. And so I'm going to look back and say, well, OK, that's probably what I was thinking is the desert or the Texas sage. So I'm going to change that. Again, the part of this is evaluating what you see. And I'm going to say that actually, in case this is probably a 5 then, and this is a 1, and then we'll put in our 0, 0. Again, in terms of our density, if we now go back to our, our worksheet, when we talk about density, remember, density from quadrants is the count of species over the area. Okay, So our individual density for this, for each of these, okay, this is our count by the area. So for each one of these, then, we're going to have to calculate this number divided by the area of the quadrant, which is 5 meters by 5 meters. That's 25. So we'd have 2 per 25 square meters. That's what we're going to average here. So next piece, I want to use this part of it, which is the point quarter method. Okay, Now here's our point quarter spreadsheet. And you'll notice that I have a quadrant. And that's going to represent it. We're going to use the lower right as the center of the quarter. For each quarter, and again, I'm only going to do, in this case, our buffalo grass. And I'm just going to do 9.5. Now, in some of these, you may not have all four quarters available to you. And so if we look at this, we're going to go to 9.5. OK, so this is our row 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would be my quarter. Now, all I can do in this case, and again, this sample is a little bit artificial, is I can only use these two. Remember, we're going to use the lower right, so that's right here. And so in a sense, this is, in general, our study area. And we're going to use, and I'm only going to do buffalo grass right now. This is quarter one, two, three, four. I'm going to go clockwise in this manner, OK? Starting here, one, two, three, four. So we're going to look, using our measuring tool, for the first buffalo grass. We start in the middle, 
and I see that this one right here is our first one. Now you'll notice that because I turned the tool off, I'm back to miles. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to cancel the measurement, right click, distance units in meters. So again, here's my first one. I'm only going to calculate the first one and it is 2.23 meters away. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. Buffalo grass, quarter one is 2.23. Then I'm going to go to my quad, my quarter two. Again, that's this one. I'm going to right click on this one and delete it. And now I'm going to go to this one. That one's the one that's primarily in here. I'm going to click. Oops, now I'm going to my measuring tool. Click, measure to it. And of course it clicks off to that. Cancel my measurement. I'm going to right click. Distance units are meters. 1.97 to this one. Now, it might be worth doing, and I'm going to cancel that measurement. So I write down 1.97, and I go to this quadrant, there isn't one in it. And then I go to this one and I measure two again, the closest one, and that's 3.8. So I have 1.97, no distance, and then 3.8. Now, normally you would continue out until you hit that species, but since we don't have any room here, we're gonna just say that there aren't any in this direction. And so again, we would enter those here. Okay, we have 1.98 none and we have here three point I believe it was 3.38 now here are these and again we're going to do our average which is in this case is equal to the sum of these four cells and then I'm going to divide that by four there you go, there's the average distance from the center. Now you're gonna do that for each of your species for each of the cells. All right, that's it for this video. We'll pick it up next time.